Twelve states will hold primaries today amid a wave of anti-incumbent sentiment among voters. CBS's Whit Johnson is in Washington for us this morning with more. Whit, good morning. Erica, good morning. Three longtime incumbents have already lost their seats. Even some of the newcomers to the national scene are finding a run for office is anything but a walk in the park. Sex and politics still dominates headlines in South Carolina. I have been absolutely faithful to my husband. Nikki Haley wants to be the state's first female governor, but is battling allegations of two extramarital affairs. This after outgoing Governor Mark Sanford admitted to cheating on his wife last year. Despite the accusations, Haley maintains a 20-point lead in the GOP gubernatorial primary with support from the Tea Party and Sarah Palin. Seeking a third term, U.S. Senator Blanche Lincoln of Arkansas is in a tight runoff with fellow Democrat, Lieutenant Governor Bill Halter. Halter picked up key endorsements from labor and progressive groups. Primaries tend to draw out the most dedicated party members and also other Americans who are simply very unhappy with current conditions. In California, former Hewlett Packard Chief Executive Carly Fiorina hopes to unseat three-term Democratic Senator Barbara Boxer. Fiorina leads her GOP challengers by double digits. I'm excited about it. Also in the Golden State, former eBay CEO Meg Whitman looks to earn the Republican nomination for governor. Polls show her well ahead of Tea Party favorite Steve Poisner. Years of liberal failure doing too much for too many. The two are breaking campaign records, spending nearly $110 million combined. The Sacramento politicians won't save California, but you can. Another GOP Senate primary is unfolding in Nevada. Tea Party darling Sharon Angle is leading in the polls. The winner of that race will likely challenge Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid in the fall. Erica? A lot of attention paid to races today. With thanks. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.